Hey, well, this is Doug DeMuro. It's... And this is Lucas. <laughs> and this is my 2005 Carrera GT. Okay, this is fun. Short bit of context. So I worked for about three months with Cars and Bits, helping them grow specifically on TikTok and on Instagram. You can actually check it out on their TikTok account. You'll see some of my videos. And on my last day visiting the California offices, Doug DeMuro came along. You probably know him and watch lots of his videos. I thought we were going to do a TikTok with his Carrera GT. He's a great guy. He goes like, no, Lucas, what do you actually want to film? And so I had nothing planned. So I just started my camera, started rolling, and this is what came out. I think it's a great conversation and great video. Bueno, <laughs> estoy en San Diego con uno de mis YouTubers favoritos de todos los tiempos. Do you understand any of that? One of your favorite YouTubers? Yeah, yeah, you got that. You got what it. What about the favorite? Who's your number one favorite? Historically, it's been you. I, I think the, the car YouTuber I've watched most over the years is probably you. Well, I appreciate that. And now yeah. look at us. Look at us now. Look at us now. Yeah. Doug, what's what made you get a Carrera GT? Greatest car ever made. It is the greatest driving car of all time. Muy bueno. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know about Argentina? Oh, Argentina. Okay, there's Buenos Aires, yeah. there's Patagonia. Argentina is the country that I most want to visit, believe it or not. Really? Yes, I've been to all over Europe, I've been all over Asia, I've been to South Africa, I've been to the Middle East, I've, really, I've never been to South America. I really want to go to Argentina. But you have to visit the winter, which makes it hard, in our winter. Well, your winter, yeah. Because school schedules are, you know, summer is winter. Yeah, yeah. And it's big. It's and that makes it hard too. It makes it really like hard to visit. London, you go to London and it's London. Yeah. And Europe is everything's close, but Argentina's like. <laughs> is it? Is it really the, your, your country? Yes. Or, or are you just I saying that because all the time? No, I, I, this... if it was up to me, we would go. Asa. Now that we have two kids, life's yeah. a little bit harder. But yes, it is my number one country I want to visit. Oh, that'd be fantastic. Well, I, I can show you around. Yes. <laughs> Go to Buenos Aires. My wife went when she was young, and she like was obsessed with it, and so I want to go. Oh, really? It. Yeah. Plus, we went to Mexico City last year, and kind of realized that you don't have to go to Europe to like go yeah. to a great city. Yeah. And well, Mexico City is nothing like. Our, our I know, but, <laughs> but like it's hit me that like I can go to Buenos Aires. Like it, it, it's still like. I've always felt like I gotta go to Europe to like have a go to a great city and yeah. I'm maybe at we'll try Buenos Aires, we'll see what it's like. Yeah, that's a beautiful city. I I grew up in Patagonia actually. Really? Yeah. In southern Argentina, this town is called the problem. It's very far. It is really Can far. Can you drive? Can I like rent a truck? It's a thousand miles away. It's like driving from here to like Denver. I'm not driving that. Is, is it like a thousand miles to Denver? You're from Yeah, a little Denver's yeah. a little further than that, but yeah. Yeah. Same distance, right. more or less. Well, so it's Ours. Cars, back to cars. What are, what are they, how is, what is cars in Spanish? What, autos. Well, actually, there's two words. If you're in Spain, it's coches. If it's, if you're elsewhere, it's autos. <laughs> okay. This is yeah. a Carrera GT. That is the same in Spanish. Well, actually, it's Carrera GT. Right. Yeah. V10, uh, or V8. Uh, <laughs> you, you almost get it. Yes. Ah, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> I remember I took French, and so I have some kind of French. Well, it's similar to French. It is similar to French, but it's not the same. And so yeah, you, it's... Can, you can kind of get by with the sign. Yeah. Um, what else is going on? This is our Cars and Bits office. Yeah, yeah. this is where you do the live show for Cars so, and Bits. So uh, we have a uh, little Lamborghini Countach. Ooh. Where's your Countach now? It is, you want to know where it is? It's in the middle of Ohio. Let's find Why out. Why is it in Ohio? <laughs> it's being serviced. The guy who like services them is in Ohio, but it just got loaded onto the truck today to come back here. It's now in Indianapolis, Indiana, and it's making its way oh. to the west. We'll have it soon. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming back here. Yeah, next week. Ah, looking forward to it? Oh, can't wait. I'm so excited. Had a lot of work done, so it'll be good. So I, I remember a while ago you posted on Instagram that one of the biggest misconceptions that you get with the Countach is that it's a really hard to drive car. Yeah. It How is true hard is to it? Drive. It's just that it's, people think it's bad to drive. And I think that what I like most about it is like how it, like it, in a way, world where electric cars are all you push a button and you push a pedal and that's it. Yeah. And it's like cool that, you know, it's a V12 and it's loud and it's rough. And that's like part, that's like the fun of that car to me. And so I like, I think the things that people didn't like about it over the last 20 years are starting to actually become more desirable about it. Yeah. And which is, I think, is why values are going up on them. Yeah. 
Okay, so tell us a little bit about the Defender, because that's a very special Defender. 97 Defender, yeah. They only sold Defenders in the U.S. for four model years. And, uh, this is the best one, 97. This is the best one, everybody. Well, the 93s are the most desirable because that was the only year we got the 110, the four-door. Oh. Um, and they only made 535 four-doors for the U.S. Isn't the 90 better than the 110? It depends. Objectively. Talking, the 110 had nine seats, which was really cool. Okay, that's, that's very cool. But, um, but yeah, they sold these in the States, uh, 93, 94, 95, and 97. And 97 was the only year of automatic, which is why it's most desirable, because Land Rover people want automatics. And it has a V8, and they painted all the U.S. cars weird colors. They were bright blues and bright reds and yellows, and very different from the Defender and the rest of the world. Here it was seen as like a beach toy. Okay. Whereas everywhere else it was like a work truck. Oh, yeah, I, I remember when I was a kid, um, the place where I grew up, they had like an, an internal transport line that was a Defender 110. It would yeah. just get all of us there, and they would drive it's, up the mountain. It's funny because here it's just considered to be such a special, like you would never use it as a workhorse and no yeah. one did. They were like serious, like fun toys that, pe that rich people bought. And so here it is. And, and they, they now sell for crazy money. I mean, cheap ones are 50, 60 grand and nice ones are like... So they, they still are. Yeah. They still are toys. They were hard <laughs> to sell new because there wasn't a lot of demand. The, the Jeep Wrangler was on sale and it was like, why would I buy a Defender when I regular is half the money? But now people sort of realize like why they're special and yeah. production as well. And you're getting rid of your Land Cruiser. Yes. You want it? I would love to. I, it's really hard to import cars to <laughs> just either Spain or Argentina. But if, I know, but imagine cruising around in this. Yeah, it's, it's a perfect car. Like, it, I know a, lot, a few people who have Land Cruiser 200s, and they're really happy with I'm them. I'm going to miss it a lot. It was a good Are you? Really? Idea. It didn't, in practice, turn out to be what I had hoped. It was a little bit less reliable. Than yeah. I That's a shame. Yeah. I was told that it would be reliable. I think my problem, I let it sit for years, for like months and months and months, and that's not good for any car, but especially a 10-year-old one. Yeah. Wait, let's get Kenan and well, let's get him to talk. Kenan. Oh, he's on a meeting. It's fine. Yeah. Is he on a meeting? Yeah. but that's Oh, fine. okay. <laughs> let's get really close to him. <laughs> Kenan, do you want to talk to us about your M5? I'll always talk about my M5. I know. Well, let's go. I'm always happy to talk about my M5. I just roll over 233,000 miles now. 238,000 miles is the distance to the moon. We're getting close. <laughs> my friend Ryan who told me I would never surpass him the miles on his M5. He is 234. No way. No way. I'm oh. This year, like you, pretty soon. <laughs> you should just do a short road trip and... I, yeah, just get it over with. Back. Yeah. And give me a lot of the way there. I'm sure a couple of filming times will get me there. But yeah, I love this car. I, every time I look at it, I'm just like fall in love with the shape of it. I think this was BMW's high watermark in terms of design. I love yep. the engine. I love the way it drives. I love everything about it except for how much it costs to take care of it. Which I did a video recently on yeah. how much a 355 cost. If I did a video on this car, it would be even more. Is it? I, I thought this was cheaper. This this would be cheaper to than a, a 355. Uh, I think per mile, yes, because yeah. I put a lot of miles on this car. I put over 80,000 miles on the time I've had it. But if I think about how, like, if I think about my, just how much money I've this car, <laughs> it's a lot of money. But isn't it? Yeah. For me, yes. For other people, no. Um, but I drive them at a great stand all time. Yeah, I think it's it's it's, it's, a, it's an icon for what it is. And I'm also obsessed with cleaning it. This is as dirty as it ever gets. Um, but including the engine, that's about as filthy as it ever gets. Um, yeah. but, MWM power. I, I cannot unsee what you told me about the asymmetrical. Yep. Once you see that, I told you about this, right? That the engine is almost perfectly symmetrical, except. In order to clear the dipstick, this tube comes out further than this one. And so it's oh, like, yeah. <laughs> once you see that, you can't unsee it. That's funny. Because otherwise it looks very, you know. Pipe and drink. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's what they had to do. But yeah, it's a wonderful car. It's fast. It's sedate. It's yeah. comfortable. It's a, it, to jazz and peace. It's your daily driver. Yeah, it's my only car. Hurry and um, But very Kenan, what do you think about it? It is a very Kenan car. Right. I made a decision. I stuck to it. I stayed in the course, as yep. you like to say. Unlike the Ferrari. <laughs> unlike, <laughs> unlike my Ferrari F55. Would you right? get another Ferrari? Uh, yes, there are a number of Ferraris I'd love to have. We've talked about many of them. But the problem is a lot, I, I don't live far from my office, and I don't live far from what I like to, things I like to do. 
And as a result, like having another car that I don't drive very far doesn't make a lot of sense. But the other Ferraris I'd love to have, the Ferrari 612 is really yeah. high on my list, or a 575. I love that powertrain, they're relatively reliable, it's relatively important, I love those cars. I think that part next to this would be pretty That'd be cool. fantastic. I think silver or which color was 612 would I you love like? Silver. <laughs> I love silver. Yeah, no, but cars. silver 612s are beautiful. They are. I think the 612 looks best in dark colors, the dark okay. blue, Le Mans blue, or, or Tour de France blue, one what of the gold. Oh, Grigio Ingrid? <laughs> I'm a fan of Grigio. Grigio Ingrid with some challenge wheels, I'd be in that. Uh, but the beauty of that car is, much like this one, you can share the experience with more than just one other person. Like my 350 bike yeah. is one person at a time. This, it can be uh, three people cruising at high speed. And, or Do you cruise at high speed? All the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, he got a speeding ticket. Really? Oh, he, 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 he his reputation <laughs> Two years ago, I got I've had two speeding tickets in my life. Cannon is the slowest person I've ever met in my entire life, unless he's in this car. <laughs> yeah, then on the highway, I, I don't mess around. That's what it's for. <laughs> yeah. That's where it's happiest. It doesn't like racetracks, but it likes highways. Changing the topic a little bit, what do you know about Argentina? Because that's one of the main questions I'm going to get. Uh, so, <laughs> so, Lucas and I have talked a lot about Argentina. Um, so, I've been fascinated particularly with Berloche, which is where he's from. Uh, yeah, so see, it, that's where I'm from. Doug. Yes, oh, it's because it just looks like Switzerland <laughs> nestled in the, the bosom of Argentina. Um, but I've, I've been fascinated with Argentina for a long time. Uh, the politics of Argentina have been very interesting to me. We were talking about how the president of Argentina once set a cannonball-like speed record on Ferrari 348 which is insane, <laughs> that was, that was hit, donated to him, it was yeah. his wild story. Um, but I love, Argentina is very much on the very high on my list, I'd love to go into Tierra del Fuego at some point um, on my way to Antarctica, because I have a dream of going to Antarctica, but I love, Argentina is a cool country, I'd love to visit someday, but I haven't yet. I haven't. Plus that light blue color of the flag is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, light blue and white, nice color combination. Right. Yeah. That makes it cool. like 250 horsepower. No, it's like 350 horsepower. No, it, it's, it's, we looked it up with, with Lebo. It's got like 300 and something. Wow. Yeah, this is a cool car. And it's going to sell for six. You know, Would you take cool this car. or a Crown Vic? Oh, this. Oh, they would. This is so cool. I remember seeing these when they were new. Man, like I remember seeing these when they were new. And being like, oh, cops get this cool car. We can't get it. Get out of that. It's a little, yeah. Well, it was made for the police. I really deserve nice things. The Italian police have, have, have Lamborghinis. The Italian police don't have Lamborghinis. It's not like they have one. one. They have one. They have like Fiat Stratas or Kangas, <laughs> and they, they, you're insane. They, yeah, it's not the most quality car, but that's not the point of it. The point of it was like cheap speed. He's gotten pursuits and arrested people. I like expensive speed. Okay. <laughs>